A Shano County man convicted of killing his ex-girlfriend and her brother will spend the rest of his life behind bars. 30-year-old Daniel Schmidt was sentenced this afternoon in Ocano County. And as Fox 11's Bill Miston reports, in court today, one victim's son shared his loss. She was my best friend. I could talk to her about anything. An emotional 16-year-old Donovan Rose on the witness stand, talking about the life taken from his mother, 32-year-old Kimberly Rose. She is not going to be there when I get married. My wife will have no in-laws. I'm going to have to tell my children that they are never going to be able to see their grandmother. Kimberly Rose and her brother, 22-year-old Leo Marsh, were shot and killed in Rose's Jill at home in 2009. Daniel Schmidt was convicted in October of the murders. My condolences do go out to you. My prayers and thoughts have always been with you guys. I just can't say that I'm not, I'm not the one that did this to your family. Schmidt's defense team called the case against their client circumstantial, asking for the possibility of parole after 20 years. However, the prosecution called for no parole, saying the victims and their families weren't the only ones hurt. He victimized his own family. Saying Schmidt's motive for the killings was to save his own marriage, so he shot the girlfriend he had been having an affair with. But he certainly wasn't thinking of them when he took that shotgun and pulled the trigger and shot Kim Rose in the face. Marsh was shot three times. Court documents say money and drugs also played a role in the crime. This court Judge Michael Judge says his sentence of two consecutive life terms without parole fits the crime. I choose to treat your sentence the same as the sentence you gave to Kimberly, to Leo, and their family. I was glad to see that justice uh, was done with the verdict, and I think the judge made the correct decision. A decision Schmidt's defense team declined to comment on. In O'Connell, Bill Miston, Fox 11 News. And neither the victim's family nor Schmidt's family would comment after the hearing as well.